In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple image picker in SwiftUI. So basically, if I have this profile picture, I can click on the little icon and I can choose a new image and that will show across into my profile picture. So something which is fairly easy to do, we just need to present to an action sheet and replace those images. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with this simplified template. That's what we're going to use to create uh, this simple image picker it's just going to have that profile image and then it's going to bring up that action sheet when we need to so I've just scaled everything back and, and started from the basics so I have that Z stack where it ignores the safe area and that allows us to show you that red background color and then inside that Z stack is where I'm going to have that profile image eventually the first thing to do is to create a state and what we can do is actually create a state which will uh, return back a image view. So I'm going to set a default image which I have in my assets and then I can call that profile image. Okay, so it's just like writing uh, image and defining that image, but I can use profile image. And then create a new file. And this is going to be my style sheet. So I showed you these style sheets before, how we can use extensions in order to style some of our uh, elements within Swift UI. So this will just make it a little bit easier and a little bit more simple when we look at our code and makes it a bit more reusable. So I'm going to create that profile image style which returns the opaque view and then I can define the properties. So I make it resizable, aspect ratio, set the frame size, set the clip shape to round and then what I'm going to do is create an overlay after I've clipped the shape. So the overlay is going to allow us to show that separate icon that sits over the top there. So again, I'll create a Z stack. I'm going to have an image, which is a sister name of camera fill. Again, I can add some color properties to this and also set an offset so it sits down the bottom there. And then I'm going to set a border on this as well. Border. So the border, I've set it as a round. I'm going to set the corner radius to 100, just so it basically looks like a circle. And then I can set the stroke properties to show that. Okay, so now if I go back to my content view, I can apply those styles. So again, you can see how the reduction of code there, and it makes it a little bit more reusable. So now I have my profile image, and I have that uh, little icon there as well which sits in the overlay. From here, we're going to create a new Swift file. So go to File, New, select Swift File. I'm going to call this Image Picker. And this is where we're going to actually handle our image picking. So go to Import Swift UI and also Import Photos UI Libraries. This is what's going to actually help um, handle that, that style sheet that pops up and also returning the image. So the first thing we need to do is to wrap the UI view controller represent representable. And then the second thing we'll do is create a coordinator which we use within that UI Swift controller representable. Okay, so that, that controls, that coordinator sort of pulls it all together. So we define our image picker struct, which is UI view controller representable. And we're going to create a binding, which is what's going to be used to return the image. So binding var image equals UI image. From there, we can use the default um, methods for UI controller representable. So the first one is make UI view controller. We're going to set the configuration of this. Set the config filter to be images. And then we'll let the picker be PHP controller and set that to that config. Last of all, we need to set that picker delegate to the context. Okay, so we don't have this con this coordinator yet, um, but we're going to fix that up in a moment once we finish these default methods. So the next one is an update method. Uh, we're not going to be using this one, but we need to have it. And we also need to have that coordinator method as well. So that returns the coordinator, and then I'm going to set the coordinator to itself. So we haven't got this created yet. We're going to now suppress that coordinator error. So we're going to create a class called coordinator, which is a type of NS object, and ph picker view controller delegate. Create a identifier there. Set the initializer as we need to with classes. I'm going to set that to its parent. Then 
and we're going to create a new method for the picker. This will help control that action sheet and return the image. And then we'll allow it to dismiss as well. So make sure that we can remove that. We can swipe down on it or we can just click off it and it will dismiss. Last of all, make sure the provider provides the first available. And then we're going to make sure we can load that object. So if it can load, we'll search that class of UI image, and then if it can't, it will dismiss it. So a lot of this may not make sense for you at first, especially if you're not familiar with the wrappers. However, uh, once we have this class in place, we actually reuse it across many projects. So we can sort of set it and forget it a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to my content view and we're going to actually implement what we just created in that separate file. So first of all, we're gonna create a state, which will be uh, to actually show the image picker. So initially we're gonna set this to false. Then we can toggle this by using the on tap gesture. So we can just toggle the to uh, show image picker and create true. And that will allow us to actually show the image picker when we need to. At the bottom of our view, we're now gonna create a new function which will handle the loading of the image. So the function is gonna be called load image. Inside this function, I'm gonna create a guard. And this will handle the inputting of the image. So guard let input image equal input image, otherwise return. So let's make sure that we actually have something available to place in there, it doesn't cause an error. And then we can set that profile image to whatever we return. Okay, so this will cause an, uh, an error because currently we don't have input image. So we need to create that state as well. So state private, state private variable, uh, input image, and that would be UI image. And we'll set that to optional with the question mark there. Okay, so this should suppress the errors now. Uh, it's not, let's give it a run, make sure. Okay, not quite sure what I've done here. That's definitely been created. Oh, I put car instead of var, simple mistake. Okay, so that suppressed those errors. Now we have our function written, we just need to call it. So we're going to use a another property on this profile image. So we're gonna say on change. So we're gonna look for the change in that state. So look for the change in the input image. And then we can create a bit more space there. I'm gonna have a closure, which will look inside that load image function. And then we need to pull up that action sheet. So dot sheet is presented and then we can use that state of show image picker to make sure that it's toggled and then we can use our class which we created to pass that binding state. Okay, so it'll pass that input image. Okay, so that's all up and running, so we can give that a test. So let's build our project now in the actual device, make sure it's working properly. Now we have a nice reusable image picker, which you can use across any of your apps, and it's attached directly to that element. So we just click on the image, you don't actually need to press the icon. You can press anywhere on that image, and it will display. And there we have it, all done.